Welcome dear students to Summit for Marks. In this video, we are going to discuss the important concepts and points under the topic time value of money. Interest can be broadly divided into three types, simple interest, compound interest and effective rate of interest. Other than this, we will discuss on the topic of annuity in detail. Now let's differentiate simple interest and compound interest. In simple interest, principal remains the same every time. But in compound interest, principal differs every time. In simple interest, the amount of interest is the same. And in compound interest, every time the amount of interest differs. In simple interest, the interest is calculated only on yearly basis. But in compound interest, the interest can be calculated yearly, monthly, half yearly and so on. And now let us discuss about effective rate of interest. This calculation is independent of principal and only when interest calculation is more than once in a year, we use this method. Now let us discuss on the formula for simple rate of interest i is equal to p n r by 100 for compound interest i is equal to p into 1 plus r by 100 whole to the power of n minus 1 and for effective rate of interest e is equal to 1 plus r by 100 whole to the power of n minus 1 Okay, now let us discuss simple interest in detail. P represents the principal, small n or capital N represents the number of years, small r or capital R will represent the rate of interest. And i, small i is equal to capital R by 100. Here capital I is the simple interest and capital A is the amount that we get after the given period of time i is equal to p n r by 100 or it can also be written as p n i where i is equal to r by 100 that we have written already here a is equal to p plus i that is principal plus simple interest so principal plus p n i so, bringing out P, we get P into 1 plus N I. So, this is the formula for calculating amount. And sum of money doubles itself in 100 by R years. And the sum of money will triple itself in 100 into 2 by R years. The sum of money becomes N times that is the general representation will be n minus 1 into 100 by r years. So this shortcut will help you in solving the problems in few seconds. Now let us discuss compound interest in detail. Here a is equal to p into 1 plus i whole to the power of n where n is the number of times the interest is calculated yearly. If the interest is calculated yearly, then the formula for amount is P into 1 plus I whole to the power of N. If the interest is calculated half yearly, then amount is equal to P into 1 plus I by 2 whole to the power of 2N. And if the interest is calculated quarterly, then amount is equal to P into 1 plus I by 4 whole to the power of 4N. And if the interest is calculated monthly, then A is equal to P into 1 plus I by 12 whole to the power of 12N. The formula for compound interest is A minus P, that is amount minus principal. A can be written as P into 1 plus I whole to the power of N minus P. Bringing out P as a common factor, we get P into 1 plus i whole to the power of n minus 1.
Now let's discuss the relation between simple interest and compound interest. For one year, simple interest and compound interest will be the same. For two years, compound interest minus simple interest is equal to PI squared. For three years, compound interest minus simple interest is PI squared into I plus 3. Hope these shortcut formulas will be useful for you to calculate the problems in few seconds. Now let us discuss about annuity. When you approach a problem on time value of money, it will be either based on annuity or not based on annuity. So what is annuity? Annuity means regular payments or installments. If you come across such words, then the problem is based on annuity. Otherwise, it is based on interest, that is simple interest, compound interest or effective rate of interest. Annuity can be broadly classified into future value and present value. In future value, the key words are amount, sinking fund and in present value, the key words are loan, borrowings, lease, single sum, etc. Formula for Future value is A by I into 1 plus I whole to the power of N minus 1. For present value, the formula is A by I into 1 minus 1 by 1 plus I whole to the power of N. Remember that the interest factor is in the numerator for future value and in the denominator for present value. If you come across the keywords, beginning, today, commencing, now, etc. Then the calculation will be future value into 1 plus i or present value into 1 plus i. Now let's summarize. In time value of money, check whether the problem is based on annuity. If it is based on annuity, then it's present value or future value. If it is based on interest, it is either simple interest, compound interest or effective rate of interest. To make this topic much more simpler, completely evaluate all the questions in your module and scanner. In CE question paper, you may expect at least 10 questions to a maximum of 16 questions from this particular topic, time value of money. Hope you enjoyed this session. If you like, don't forget to share, comment and subscribe to the channel Summit for Max. Thanks for watching.